So alligators have a strike zone, and their strike zone is kind of this arc. You step in here, the alligator can actually turn and bite. Bon appetit! What's going on, Coyote Pack? Today we are on location in Florida at the Everglades Alligator Farm, which is a place that is pretty familiar in your history, is it not? Correct. I spent a lot of time here photographing and filming these alligators. But things don't always go according to plan when you film a photograph, do they? Nope, not when you're around big and dangerous animals like alligators. Right, so you had a pretty epic encounter here a number of years ago, and today we're gonna retell that story. And to do that, as I'm told, we're entering into this enclosure with about 100 alligators. Yeah, that's the only way to tell the story the right way. I mean, we could just tell it out here, guys. Nah, what's the fun in that? We're going in there, up close and personal, the alligators. What could possibly go wrong? I can think of about 100 things that could possibly go wrong, including a feeding frenzy where we're eaten by 100 alligators. But Mario tells us this is safe. Let's get in there and see what happens. All right, so you guys are our safety crew today? I hope so. Supposedly. Okay, you sound confident. We're getting into an enclosure with a hundred alligators. Mario, I'm sure this is a good idea. I've done this many times and I've got all nine fingers. I mean, ten fingers. Eight fingers, two thumbs. All right, Mark, you ready? As ready as I'm gonna be. This is safe, right? This is safe. So there's definitely some key safety features that we have to go over. Once you understand the behavior of the animals, then you can get around working in an area that seems kind of dangerous. So just through these gates, like Jurassic Park, got a bunch of alligators. Now, the key to having a safe experience is to go over some rules. I've got this, which may not seem like much. It's actually just a broom handle. And we're gonna use this to gently coax the animals away. Now, the alligators do not consider us a food source because we're actually too large. However, in here, they are fed on a regular basis. We don't want them to mistake in us as a keeper that's gonna feed them. I don't know about this, Mario. There's a, there's a number of very large alligators right sure at the is. gate. All right, ready guys? Now- Oh, we're gonna do this now. You're not, yeah. gonna, you're not gonna shoo them away first? No, shooing them away is us actually opening the gate. What happens if they charge us? Okay, so the key is to give them a little tickle right here in the back. Come on, Gator. Come on, Gator. Come on, Gator. Come on, Gator. This is really starting to seem like a horrible idea. See that guy right there? That's a key. Mario looks like he's uh, about to become lunch here. The key is to actually be aware of their space. So alligators have a strike zone. And their strike zone is kind of this arc. You step in here, the alligator can actually turn and bite. So we're just always going to be aware of our presence when we're around these animals. Oh, I'm aware. I'm aware this is probably a bad idea. What's going on right now? Mario is trying to get the alligators off of this platform so that we can set up the scene and film what it was like for his camera to be eaten by one of these gators. And you see they're starting to pile in there. That, that's what you call a feeding frenzy back there. They're just, I mean, these ones have no interest in going into the water. Clearly they're all dry and basking and happy and they're all grumpy. Grumpy gators right here. All right. Well, we have successfully cleared a platform. Most of the alligators had disappeared back into the water. The ones that came off the embankment and into the water then drew in the rest of them. And behind us, it looks like we have set up the buffet line. Mario, this doesn't seem to be getting any safer. Well, we do have the attention of all the alligators in the pond. They could hear us, they could sense we're in the enclosure. So they're coming up to investigate. And at one point in time, you crouched down here by yourself at night in the darkness and decided you were gonna get a photograph of the alligators at night. That's correct. Tripod and camera right here, same spot at night. Hang on a second. I'm, I'm starting to question why we're in here during the day. Why were you in here at night? Uh, 
Well, as a photographer, it's all about getting the shot, right? I guess so. I want to get a creative shot. At night, the alligator's eyes actually illuminate. They shine if you flash a light. So I had a flash on my camera. I want to do a long exposure. And on that fateful night, took a couple shots. And probably after the third attempt, right as I finished taking an image, an alligator lunged forward and grabbed my entire rig better the camera than you buddy and uh, at one point in time the camera lived on the bottom of this pond for nearly eight months but miraculously it came back from the murky abyss and this is that camera is it not it is I mean look at that it's battle damaged we've got this lens here that's actually fairly solid metal and it's bent bite marks Look at the LCD screen. It looks like the alligator actually tried to eat it. You can see that that powerful reptilian bite force, one of the most powerful reptilian bite forces in the world, made pretty much mincemeat of your camera. But the fact that you got it back, you also got back the memory card, did you not? That's right. So I popped open the memory card slot, got the card, dried it up, and then in my computer screen, I could actually see the last three shots that I took that night before the alligator grabbed my camera. That's pretty cool. So now we're gonna actually pop those images up on the screen. The last couple shots that this Canon 60D managed to capture. And basically what happened then is the alligators went into a feeding response, correct? Lunged up out of the water and grabbed your camera. Now, as we know, alligators don't typically try to eat humans. Yes, people are attacked every once in a while, but oftentimes it's something like a dog or a small deer that they'll lunge up and actually grab. It's not like a Nile crocodile or a saltwater crocodile that's constantly just hunting for big game. In this instance, you were lucky it was the camera and not you. Yes. But what we want to do next is show you guys what an alligator feeding frenzy looks like. In which case, I'm not jumping in there, right? Nope, we're not sacrificing any cameras, any limbs. We're gonna feed them some meat. You guys ready for that? Let's do it. Here we go. All right, guys, well, we are going to feed some alligators. You've seen shark feeding frenzies, but I bet you haven't seen an alligator feeding frenzy. Uh, I've actually never fed an alligator before. As you guys know, we have fed large saltwater crocodiles and freshwater crocodiles. Uh, but this is going to be a little bit different. When I fed that big saltwater crocodile in Australia, it was one animal. This is literally going to be probably close to 25, maybe 50 alligators all trying to get meat at exactly the same time. So we're going to go into this enclosure and uh, hopefully not become dinner ourselves. Let the feeding frenzy begin. This is my bucket of meat right here. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's heavy. A lot heavier than I thought it was going to be. It has a lot of meat right there. There's some big alligators right there. Oh, boy. Who's hungry, guys? Oh, buddy. Wow. Yeah, they're beasts. is some epic sound right there. Reminds me of the Tyrannosaur from Jurassic Park. That is a big alligator right there. Well, I think they're all here. All right, guys, it is time for the alligator feeding frenzy. I'm gonna open up this bucket of meat. This is either gonna smell really gross or really gross. Here we go, ready? Oh, <laughs> that is bad. That is bad right there, guys. Whoa, that is really stinky. That is one rancid bucket of meat right there. But for an, oh, oh, got an old mouthful of it there. But for an alligator, that is a delicious meal. Ugh. Anybody for turkey? I'm good. Mario, why don't you take this camera and get shots? I'm gonna start just throwing meat. I mean, a piece at a time, it's not really not really doing it justice, you know? Ooh, we got a whole bucket of meat to go through. Wow, look at that! 
That's whole rack of ribs. I love ribs, not rotten ones, but alligators too. All right, Marty, you ready? Yep. Here comes the meat. All right, so this is a really good example of alligators that have a feeding response, right? So these animals right now know that we're feeding them and they're going full force to try and grab something to eat. When we're on shore with the camera, the alligators are more calm and relaxed because they knew that we were not a food source. So that's the biggest difference. Now, of course, you never want to feed wild alligators, right? These animals are here at the alligator farm. This is a breeding group of alligators. And um, if you feed a wild alligator, that's what's gonna happen. What do we got there? Like some ham hock or something. All right, guys, we are down to the last massive piece of meat. I saved the big beast for last. Here we go. One, two, three. Bon appetit! guys an alligator feeding frenzy yeah and no cameras were harmed which is good news for me good news for you all of us made it out of it unscathed yep. this was one epic on location i'm coyote peterson and i'm mario decoa be brave stay wild we'll see ya on the next location if there is one thing that we as a brave crew have learned over the years it's that getting the cameras up close to animals can sometimes yield incredible shots while at other times it can end with destroyed equipment. Always remember to admire these fascinating creatures from a safe distance to ensure the safety of yourself, the animal, and certainly your favorite camera. If you thought watching an alligator feeding frenzy was fantastic, make sure to go back and watch the episode where I fed an enormous saltwater crocodile. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on our next location. <laughs>